California versus Scott Peterson. We, the jury in the above entitled cause, find the defendant, Scott Lee Peterson, guilty of the crime of murder of Lacey Denise Peterson. You want to talk about the verdict first? Wow, it was crazy. There was just like this amazing, horrible physical reaction that I had. Everything just went kind of silent or I couldn't hear anything. I couldn't feel anything. I couldn't feel my feet on the floor. I couldn't feel the chair I was sitting in. My vision was even a little blurry. And I just had this weird sensation that uh, I was falling forward and forward and, and down. And there was going to be no end to this falling forward and down. Like there was no floor to land on. This office is where we keep everything related to Scott's case. We keep the trial transcripts. We keep the case discovery here. This board represents the details of the day. My name is Janie Peterson, and I am Scott and Lacey Peterson's sister-in-law. We're constantly evaluating the information we have from different perspectives. It's been 18 years, and there should be answers to questions. I think if people step back and look at the evidence in this case, they're gonna see this crime isn't solved. of Lacey Peterson's disappearance made news soon after she disappeared, right? Because it's Christmas Eve 2002. It became national news pretty quickly. A California man is anxiously waiting to hear word on the mysterious Christmas Eve disappearance of his pregnant wife. Lacey Denise Peterson is eight months pregnant. She's considered a high-risk missing person under suspicious circumstances. I love my daughter so much. I miss her every minute of every day. I started reporting on it right away when she was a missing person the day after Christmas. Oh, I think that what caught everybody's imagination was Lacey Peterson and her picture. People saw this photo of this missing woman with the big smile and the brunette hair, eight and a half months pregnant. Lacey was last seen by her husband, Scott, when she was walking her dog possibly in the area of East La Loma Park, Dry Creek. He saw her at 9.30 in the morning before he went fishing. And um, shortly thereafter, she went on her walk. No one has seen her since. The community mobilized immediately. As soon as Lacey disappeared, people were helping to search for her. When I got there, I was, I was pretty shocked. They already had people making flyers. I mean, they were going door to door. They were in the park. Lacey went missing Christmas Eve. She's 27 years old, and she is over eight months pregnant. Scott Peterson was this good-looking, kind, young husband. He was about to have a baby, and that's a guy a lot of people can relate to. And she is carrying their first child. She's just weeks out from birth. I mean, at this point, the baby, Connor, is viable. Had she given birth within days of her disappearance, he would have lived. Scott and Lacey Peterson, I mean, it's right out of a, a, a romance novel. They were both at school together, and they met, and she fell head over heels in love, and that was it. They were college sweethearts. Lacey was very headstrong. She was born in May. She was a Taurus, and she fit the description to a T. <laughs> Once she made up her mind, she was going to do it, and that's all there was to it. There was no change in her mind. Describe your son for me. Describe Scott Peterson. Gosh, where should I start? He was a very affectionate, just, just a really kind, you know, sweet little guy. Never in trouble of any kind. 
He was too good to believe, almost. <laughs> she saw him at the little cafe that he worked at in uh, Morro Bay. And before she left that evening, she had written her phone number down on a piece of paper and given it to the other server to give to Scott. And when he gave it to Scott, Scott just looked at it and threw it in the garbage because he thought it was kind of a joke until she came back. <laughs> As I said, she wasn't intimidated about anything. <laughs> How did you know you were in love? Driving along the highway, uh, I remember vividly. And for no reason, I was just smiling. That's the biggest smile. And she asked me, what, what the heck are you smiling about? And the only thing was that she was there. When I met him, I was impressed. He was very likable. Um, he was a gentleman. He was just, he was a very nice person. They were just starting out. They had been married not very long. They had bought the house a couple of years earlier. Lacey was a, a homemaker. I mean, she loved to cook, and she, her home was, and she was fastidious. You see the photos of them, all smiles. Lacey, by all accounts, was just a bundle of energy and was always concerned about helping other people. He was a fertilizer salesman. He had a decent job. He's in the cigar club. He's in the wine club. He belongs to the country club. He wants to be that rich guy with a trophy wife. He was still in his 20s. He was about to turn 30. How did Scott feel about the fact that he was going to be a father? Very excited. Happy. Called us at 7 a.m. in the morning when she took the test. <laughs> and I said, how do you know? And she said, I took the test. I said, those aren't always accurate, you know? And she said, yes, it is. Yes, it is, because she, they had been, they tried for three years to have a child, did. yes. I remember the last time I saw Lacey, she and I were sitting side by side and Scott was sitting on the floor and we were watching TV and she said the baby was kicking so I put my hand on her stomach because I'd never felt him kick. She leaned over to me and she said, Mom, she said, Scott doesn't like to do this. She said, I asked him to you know, feel my stomach when, um, when the baby kicks and he never wants to touch my stomach. That really, really bothered me, and that was the last time I saw her. It seems that when she got pregnant with Connor, things started going sideways. It, it breaks my heart because she was trying so hard to have this perfect home for baby Connor to come into, and she had no idea it was a house built on sand that was sinking quickly. No idea. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.